It's Kalamazoo's Morning News, 590 WKZO. Tim's in, Anthony in for Jim today. I'm Jay. And we bring in Mike McClear from our friends at Escape. It's that time of year again, Mike, that we got to talk about, you know, some fire safety issues as we were burning a candle at our house last night. It's like, okay, I thought of you immediately, my friend. Well, I said, that's, that's kind of what you have to do, I guess. Uh, you have to think about the, those kinds of things in so many ways. Uh, but tell us a little bit about what we can do for candle fire safety. Well, in your stocking, I guess I'm going to need to make sure. Hang on. Well, can we f- switch microphones there? Sure. There we go. Much better. <laughs> There we go. Perfect. All right. In your stocking, I'm yes. going to go ahead and put a flameless candle. A flameless candle. Flameless candle. They're becoming really popular. They come in all different colors, shapes, and sizes. Much safer. Really? Yes. They're so, cool. They're cool. They're really awesome. Huh. I had not, I'd not even seen those That's yet. That's right. Okay. So you can get those. You can. Okay. Those are, those are easy. And of course, you know, keeps the flame away. That's right. If you are going to use a candle with a flame, make sure we keep a one-foot circle of safety. Make sure that pets are secure because cats are really attracted. Pets are really attracted to the flame of the candle, and their tail might knock it over. So, All right. So there's a couple things you got to look at there. All right. So let's talk a little bit about space heaters because you tend to use space heaters, you know, at this time of year a lot more. What can we look at for space heater safety, Mike? Jay, as I've been out and about, as we've done events together, we're hearing more and more families that are getting those space heaters that have the pre-programmable timers, Mm -hmm. and they think they can go to work and leave those space heaters on. Never a safe choice. Even the infrared heaters are still space heaters, so they need space. They need to be three foot away from anything that can catch fire, Um, and we need to make sure that when we leave the room or we leave the home, we turn them off. They are space heaters. Yes, I know. You, even with the programmable, they, even with they, the programmable, they say, you know, because they make a big deal out of the fact that's that right. programmable would turn. No, 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 no. All right, and then there's the obvious 800 pound gorilla in the room. You have this tree that you've cut down, and it's there, and it's got lights on and everything else. Is you know, there's got to be some precautions you have to look at. For, for having that tree there with the lights on. Absolutely. So we want to make sure that families don't overload the electrical strands. Now we're starting to see more LED lighting, which is a lower draw, but they're tending to plug more lights in. So usually no more than three strands. Follow the manufacturer's recommendations. Never leave the lights on. When we go to bed, we leave the home, especially on the live trees, because as the trees dry out, those lights or electrical wiring could cause an electrical short, could cause a problem. And this is the peak time of the year for those Christmas tree fires caused by electrical sources. Never leave them on. Overnight or when you go to bed. Well, see, those are, that's, that's good advice. That's a whole other show because I've oh, got case studies on all these fatal fires that have occurred because of Madonna Badger in 2011 there in Stanford, Connecticut. Yeah. We had the one in Annapolis this past January. Family died because the uh, Christmas tree was left on, uh, short, electrical short. Yep. Man. You bet. All right, so one more quick one, too. We talk about uh, the – because every time we come in, it's the same thing. Uh, carbon monoxide and smoke alarms. Absolutely. Have to look at those. Have to look at them. Give the gift of safety if you know of a family or if your smoke alarms are over 10 years old. It's a great opportunity to upgrade those smoke alarms or adopt a family. Give them smoke alarms. We can't stress that enough. That's why our fire fatalities here in West Michigan and across the state are up. Homes don't have working smoke alarms, and they need to be energized with a fresh battery or plugged into that electric power source if they're hardwired. How often should you look at that battery? Need to be testing those smoke alarms once a month, changing the battery uh, once a year. And any of the new smoke alarms now, they have 10-year sealed batteries. So look for those on the market. A little more expensive, but over the life of the 10 years, a lot less expensive, a lot less hassle. All right, Mike. Thanks much. It's always good seeing you. Have a good one, and have happy holidays, my friend. You as well. All right, sounds good. It's Kalamazoo's Morning News. It's 590 WKZO.